It's like there's a room full of shoeboxes Stop to the top with immaculate matches now To all of my outfits It must sound preposterous to ponder what I'll cop next Cause what I'm rocking got even these blogs on my jock strap But you never know bro You might see me in some Velcros Or strutting in Italians while rolling up the pesto I invented this dress code So quit stressing the intro Before you realize it's too late Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is B-Boy Cho One with ABTV. I got my man here, Leon the Pro, you know, upcoming artist, a well-known dancer in his own scene. Leon, I have a few questions. You know, you are coming up, you know, first off, let me say, how did you come up with the name Leon the Professional? Um, it started with, uh, well, I used to go by another name before. I used to go by Drano when I first moved here. Yeah. And a lot of people may not know that, but um, I guess as, as, like, time went on, you know, and I, I got more into dancing, I was like, man, I need a name that personifies. And then I, I watched the movie Leon the Professional. And well, it's called The Professional, but the main character is Leon, and we kind of had some similarities. I the guy thinking. who assassinates people? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, so like, I was like, yeah, that's a good, the professional, it fits, you know what I'm saying? So that's really kind of where I was aiming to go, you know, to be professional. Okay, so people might not know this, but, you know, like like me, I thought, you know, you were from here. What, what is your background? Where are you calling from, like? I'm originally from Ottawa, Ontario, and Canada, mm. and uh, our family's Jamaican, Jamaican, so I'm like Jamaican Canadian. So, nice. <laughs> no, yeah, wrapping yeah. up north. So, how do you feel about you know your background influences? Maybe you know even in dance or in the style that you represent in the rap career. Um, how do I feel about my background? I guess is just being from up north, or like what do you like, mean? I mean what did you grow up with? Oh, what I grew up. Oh, shit. What I grew up with is like, uh, I grew up with like a lot of Rap City Much music, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, a lot of music videos, you know, and a lot of hip hop, like a lot of hip hop. And my um, background being Jamaican, you know, a lot of reggae, a lot of dance hall. And then on top of that, you know, um, my grandfather is a DJ, you know, and so like he had all the dopest records, like all the joints, Cool Modi, you know, all the Fat Bo, all that 90s New Jack swing, hip hop, you know, reggae. So it was just like this whole music, you know, manifestation, you know what I'm saying? And uh, as I grew, you know, I started to reach out and branch out and look on, okay. you know, look at stuff in my own. So I would say, you know, in the whole theory of hip hop nowadays, how people say hip hop is actually dead, how do you feel about this controversy and what do you think? you will be able to put on the table for hip hop? I think that uh, it, in some senses the originators feel like hip hop is dead because when it was originated it was very pure. It wasn't about you know the business side, the commercial side of things. So it's like this pure and it's, it's what it was supposed to be. By them saying it's dead, that aspect is, is not necessarily true because it carry, carries on tradition but people, uh, you know, companies exploit it for money and stuff like that, which they exploit every good thing in the world for money, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you got to really take the good with the bad, and, and, and I guess your perception on it really, it, it could be that it's dead, but I don't think it is. I mean, it's, it's just expanded to a point, it's worldwide, so that it's like, it's, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like, it's just... It's not as dense and like concentrated as it used to be. Now it's just like spread all the way out, and so you got like, you know, people in France representing and stuff. Yeah, and, 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 and just, like I said, in, in every so you scene. like the way hip hop is going right now? Well, I like everything about yeah. I like the way it's going. I don't like the messages within hip hop, and I think you know of late that's been a topic of discussion. So it's like you know, and that's really the impact that I feel like I'm gonna have in the game is really like talking more about the hip hop aspect, the b-boy aspect, and then on top of that it's just the messages that are gonna be more positive and you know, not have the the, the misogynistic, you know what I'm saying, girls, money, hoes kind of thing. So. Uh, you know, you're coming up, I don't know if anyone's out there has, and if you haven't, y'all should check out you know, Leon the Professional, got some dope stuff. You know, I'm watching and you're you're kind of not doing all the things. Who's recording? Who's doing these things for you? Like, yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Like, um, <laughs> it's it's a process, man, to like really try and get your sound out now because mm -hmm. it's like you know you have to count on other people. Like, so right now it's like um, I'm working with Capture Media, which is Gustavo, okay. another B boy. Um, Aaron's my DJ. Whatever I do shows, so another B boy. Okay. Um, I really try and. Because the, with the b-boy community, there's that multi-talent aspect, you know, they're, they're, they do everything. We do everything, of so course. it's like, you know, so 
I, I really search for like those those cats in the culture that are b boys as well, and that kind of mess around with everything that can be involved in the campaign. So talking about multi, you know, talented. You know, one of the questions I personally want to ask you is, you know, you're you're an artist coming up, a rap artist coming up, and you're well known b boy in your own scene. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be able to juggle both of these, or are you just going to let one go and just try to solidate one more, or you know, you know try to juggle it again? Uh, you know, I think with anything that you're passionate about you don't ever stop doing it. So like, of course I'm gonna have to, you know, I'm gonna have to focus on the music, which I have been, and um, you know, it's been, it's proven to be fruitful, you know what I'm saying? But like, at the same time, it's like, I've still rocked floors, you know, and maybe not on the competitive level, but you know, I still elevate that aspect of it and learn. Cause you know, like I said, if you're passionate about something, you're just always learning about something, you know, you're always learning about it. So am I gonna be able to juggle both? Yes. Am I gonna have to focus on one more, which is music? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, anything we should know about? As you know, there is probably fans out there that want to know a lot more about your stuff, like you know, album releases, events. What, what, what is it? Oh, what's up? Let's well, let us know. Well, let's see. I got a crazy month. You know what I'm saying? So this month we got. I'm going to uh, Portland and Eugene. I got two shows out there. Portland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm excited about that. And then. Um, uh, the week after that in Dallas, we've got a big show which everybody's got to come out to. It's called America's Most Slept On, and it's going to have John Connor, um, Dustin Cavazos, uh, Jack Rabbit James, like some really dope acts that are from the city and beyond. Dope Beasy from Houston, who is off the hook too, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Is there an event page for this so we can find out? Yeah, there is an event page on Facebook. I'll make sure to get okay. it out to you guys, but definitely. Um, so that event's going to be going on. Um, and then I'm also working on an EP with a cat from Eastern Europe uh, named Ayan. Mm -hmm. And we've we've recorded a whole lot of music, so like I'm excited about it. So it's just, you know, picking the tracks mm -hmm. and then the releases and the video. And we're trying to push early 2013 uh, before South by Southwest, but mm -hmm. we'll see how that works. So and on top of all of this, you know, your music career, your, your dance career, mm -hmm. you have a normal life. <laughs> yeah. And you have like a nine to five job, you know. Yep. Which is, you know, to some people, you know, they might not notice this, but this is what a lot of us go through. And I kind of want to be able to t ask you, you know, what do you have to say? What type of advice would you want to give to the younger people coming up, to the people that are more influenced, people that want to be inspired? What, what, do, what message do you want to send out to them? I think that the message that I want to send is that working hard, work ethic is the key. You know what I'm saying? It, the key to success is work ethic and passion. You want to do what you you want to do, what you are passionate about, what you're happy about doing in life, and finding that is the most important part of your life. Um, having faith, you know, uh, your spirituality, you know, and just being close to family and friends that are in a positive, you know, mind state. You know what I'm saying? Personally, do you want to have say anything in the video? Do you have any shout outs? Sure, absolutely. I got a shout out like many people, but you know, first off, my girl, mm -hmm. uh, my dude Ayan, who's killing on the production, CMG, um, Assembled Soul, uh, Smart Water, Vitamin Water that supports the kid, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and then just of course the Dallas community and the b-boy community and the hip-hop community, you know, I I'm rocking for y'all, you know what I'm saying? And you know, you keep me passionate, you know, and hopefully my music will make you passionate about what you do. And, you know, shout out to everybody I forgot. You know, I got a lot of love for everybody in the hip hop scene in Dallas and beyond. So that's really it. And that is Leon the Professional. Well, that's all the time we have today. So, all you subscribers, you know, watch Leon the Pro. He's coming up. Definitely feeling his music and I'm sure y'all will. Thanks for coming up and showing us your time. Showing us your time. All right, and we're out. Next time, subscribers. Me and we ain't playing with that King Tut. Your piece of bust a bust.